The human body is incredibly complex, and the effects of a drug or medication can vary greatly between people. What works for one person may not be as effective for others, or may cause side effects. This variation can be due to many factors, like differences in age, or size, your overall health, or interactions with other medications you might be taking. Another key factor that can affect how you respond to a drug or medication is variation in your genes. The study of the interaction between your genes and medications is called pharmacogenomics. An example of this is a gene called CYP2D6. CYP2D6 makes a protein responsible for breaking down many different medications, including the painkiller codeine. When CYP2D6 breaks down codeine, it converts it into another molecule, morphine, which relieves pain. Some people have a variant in the CYP2D6 gene that causes it to be less active. When these people, known as poor metabolizers, take codeine, it doesn't get converted to morphine as efficiently. This means that the medication may be less effective at relieving pain. Other people have a variant in CYP2D6 that causes them to convert codeine to morphine too quickly. In these people, known as rapid or ultra-rapid metabolizers, even normal doses of codeine can cause too much morphine to build up in the body. This means they might be at an increased risk of side effects. One of the aims of pharmacogenomics is to understand whether people are poor or rapid metabolizers for certain medications. This information could help your doctor to prescribe the medications that will work best for you at the right dose with less trial and error. Pharmacogenomic information can be relevant throughout a person's lifetime. Each time you need to take a new medication, your doctor could refer to your genetic information to see if the medication might be less effective than expected or if you might be at an increased risk of side effects.